I'm going to show you how the card system works in Lost Ark. This system is actually more important than you might realize because you can get pretty significant bonus stats from using your cards. There's a few different mechanisms at play. Now cards, you may have noticed this when leveling up. You have these random cards in your inventory. And you may have just been right clicking them without realizing. Or maybe you read them but didn't understand. Or maybe you're still holding on to them and have not right clicked any of them to use them. Well, I'm going to explain to you how these cards work in this game. And uh, how you get them, how you level them up, uh, what their significance is. We're going to dive right into that. So let's take a look at this. So the card system. It is actually part of your roster, which means it is cross character. Which means, yes, you could make new characters to far farm cards. Which we will get to in a moment. So down here at the bottom right, we have roster. And you go to your card catalog. Also, you can hit Alt-C, which you want to hit all see so you'll immediately be overwhelmed with visuals because of everything in this game is always like this so we got all this stuff to look at but the main thing is we have equip we have books we have enhance um enhance is where you'll be able to see uh, is the easiest way to keep track of your cards when you go to enhance you'll have all your cards and uh you can sort by different things by default it's just sorted by rarity uh with the exception of having duplicate cards makes it more rare than a purple somehow. That's just, I don't know the way it's organized here. And so here are the cards, obviously. The easy way to track them. Now, there's a few different systems. I'm going to go through these one by one. we got equip. Now, this is where you actively use cards. Not all cards can be equipped. So when I go over here and look at my cards, like Trantorus and Mephidius or whatever, uh, they don't belong to any card sets. Some of these, though, you don't even see when you mouse over them, uh, equipped card set bonus it says down in the description so you could always check that way but main thing is you go here and we have these cards that work towards sets you can mouse over these little things to see what this set will give you and you can do that to look at each one see what you're going to get now you can have six cards equipped at a time you can even rename the thing like dps build for example uh although you can't use spaces in this game so dps build one word okay so you can do that to keep track of them, and you also can expand these slots to have more. You only have two by default, but you can get more. Anyway, back to the point of this. So, say I look at this set bonus. If I have two of the cards from this set equipped, I will get uh, damage plus 100% to lucky monsters. So, I can right-click these guys and put two on. Once I have two on, now I get that set bonus. Now, you can mix and match sets. So, say I look at this one. And I get uh, lightning damage reduction plus 8% for having two. Well, I don't actually want that. But if I did want that, then I would put two from that on to get that one. And then this one down here, uh, damage minus 8% for foes at 50% or lower HP. Put two of those on. Now I have the first one in each of these. Now, if I wanted to, some of these things have six sets. So six cards in a set like these ones. I don't have all six cards personally. But if I did, I could throw all those on in order to get the max set bonus. Uh, in this case, if I put these ones on, put these ones back on, once I have four, it does the exact same thing. Actually, these ones are probably bad for that. They all do the exact same thing. Uh, but then once you get to six set, uh, one, if you have 12 piece awakening, then that you will uh, get this bonus thing, which is move speed 4%. So the 12 piece awakening is, see these little gem slots? So those are levels to your card. And for a six set, to have 30 piece awakening means all five cards are going to have to be level five because five times six is 30, right? So you're going to need all six cards and they're all going to have to be level five. If you have that, that's how you can get this last one, which is one obtained Ether's deal magic damage equal to 50% of your max HP. So the same kind of thing would apply for the other set. Uh, 30 piece awakening, you would get attack speed 10%. But you also have these like ones in between, like in this case, 12 piece awakening. I could have two cards that are level five and one card that's level two, or I could have six cards that are level three in order to get those 12 pieces of awakening or whatever, basically. Uh, so there's other things to consider when doing these equips, which is that some sets are really small. They only have three in a set. Uh, so that is a way to like, I don't know. And you also just have to look at the sets and what the stats give, and you have to pick and choose. Do you want to have an incomplete set of one and a complete set of another? Uh, just look around and make your choices. Like, some sets literally only have two in the set. In the case of this one, damage minus 5% from Abyss Raid Monsters, Guardian of Chaos set. You need four-piece awakening. So, you have to have both these cards, and you have them both level two, or have one of them level four, or one of them level three, and one of them level one, in order to get four-piece awakening. 
Uh, also, when you have both of them on, you get damage plus 1% to Abyss Raid Monster. If it's a 10-piece Awakening, I mean, they're both level 5, you'll have both of those. And then I think just, oh, no matter what, you get damage 3% to Abyss Raid Monster. So, you know, you'll pick and choose. You'll go through. You'll choose which combinations that you want for your build, and you'll get these different deck slots so that you could just quickly quick swap without having to go through and readjust everything if you're going from PvP to PvE or doing a dungeon that certain, you know, elemental things are applicable or the Abyss Raid or whatever. So that's equipping them in a nutshell, okay? But we're not done yet. It's so much more to how cards work in this game and how to get them. So uh, next up is books. Now books are awesome. Books are so good because you don't even need the cards. You can actually delete the cards and they will still work in here for the... Uh, bonuses in here. So, like, Giant Worm. At one point, I actually had deleted Giant Worm, and I tested. It's still in here. Uh, I, I think I got a new one now, though. And what happens with this is, if you go back to here, and you look on the left, and there's all of these combos of sets, uh, each one of these will give you a bonus. In this case, if I get all three cards from the Heaven of the for the Curious, I will get one bonus Endurance. Uh, and that's just a permanent stat bonus. And... That will apply to all your characters, I believe, because this is a roster section of the game. So this should, knock on wood, this should be all your characters. I haven't tested it yet myself, but that's in theory it should be all your characters. Now the other thing is, leveling up these cards, you also get the same thing here with the, that whole awakening thing. So if I have all three of these cards, I, I, if I not even have these cards, if I have had them at one point in time, then I got that. Even if I delete them, I still get the one. Same for these others, I would assume, but if you had these leveled up and then delete them, which I don't know why you would delete a leveled up one, it'd be insane, but uh, if all of them were level 5 in this case, I would get bonus damage versus plants plus 0.07%. Very insignificant, but hey, extra stats. Same thing for all these, like, you'll see the same kind of thing, the bonus damage versus enemy types is pretty much all you get on those for the ones where you level them up. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Bonus humanoids, bonus insects, whatever. But they will add up eventually, because if you get enough sets, you know, you might get bonus 5%, 10% damage or something in the long run if you get all the sets in the game with max awakening levels. Uh, but mainly you're doing awakening levels as a completionist thing and for working towards these equip sets. Books are just kind of a side thing, although getting that first one is really nice because it's just raw stats and they will add up pretty fast just by collecting all the cards in the game. So now over here, how do we level them up? So I talked about leveling up, but I didn't actually show you. So... You have a pool of XP for enhancement points. Uh, you can have up to 999 million enhancement points at a time. You use these enhancement points to level up a card. So you pick a card you want to level up, and you right-click it. And it'll tell you how much XP you need to level it up. And then you just move this bar, and you enhance it. It'll cost silver based on how much XP you're applying to it. And then you will uh, try to get it all the way to 2,000. And then once it's 2,000, you will also use additional copies of the card in order to level it up to the next rank. Uh, in order to get these, you have to delete cards. There's also, in the store, uh, you have a weekly card bundle you can buy. You can buy three of them, and they'll give you simple XP cards that will just uh, give you XP when you get rid of those cards. And so that is a, another way to get uh, XP without actually just destroying cards. So back to the card catalog. Um, so yeah, you'll go through here and you'll you get the idea. Uh, but there's also one thing that's weird. So there's an issue and I, I it's actually just the way the game works to the best of my knowledge. I tried looking things up and it sounds like, yeah, it is really how it works. When you delete cards, be very careful because um, you can't, like in this case, I have two of Solus. I can't delete one of them. If I delete Solus, I delete both of him. And that's just how it is. So, if you're going to delete cards, make sure that you have one more of the card ready to use, or else you'll just have none left. Uh, I don't, I, that's to the best of my knowledge, there's no way to split the stack. It is all or nothing for deleting cards, which is totally whack, but that's how it is. Okay, so that is generally how all these cards are going to work. That's how that's going to work, but we're not done yet, because now there's the question of, how in the world do you get cards? Well, any card that you want to get. You can find out how you get it. So you go to Guides, Codex, and in the Codex, go down here to Cards, or you could just search it. Uh, but we go in here, and here are all the cards in the game. 
and when you click on any of these cards, it'll tell you how you get them. From report with uh, Eolin, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, from Guardian Raid, Lumerous. From, let's look at some other ones down in the blues. Uh, from doing an achievement called Me Against the Mayhem Legion. But the, then you might be wondering though, wait a minute, if it's from achievement, I can only get this one time. So how do I level this up if I can only get one of them? Well, that's where we get to the Korean MMO grind part of this system. So, for Harzel, for example, I can get one of him. Yeah, I can get one of him. Okay. After that, the only way that I'm going to be able to get more of Harzel would be from card packs. So, in this case, the weekly card bundle. I get any card pack. I might get any card in the game from that pack. I can do three of those a week in, in, for the cost of gems. There are ways to get gems in the game, like you have uh, login rewards. Not this one. I clicked the wrong one. You have login rewards, and you know, day 10 login, I get a uh, chest of 100 crystals. This has a three. I think I get 300. Not, not entirely sure. I haven't hit 10 days yet. How that's confusing, but you get the point. Also, daily logins. Hey, I get 20 card packs on day 24 if I log in 24 times before March 10th. So. You see how there's there's ways long term to get all these cards, even when it's rare like that. But if you don't just down ridiculous amounts of money, I mean, you're talking years before you get all those cards maxed out just from the natural game mechanisms. But that is how you would do it. Now, some cards are obtained through other mechanisms. Like we have some cards, if I can find one, we got field bosses can drop cards, dungeons. Now these ones like from dungeons and stuff, those ones you can just farm. Because there's just an RNG chance that you'll get it from the dungeon or from the field boss. Uh, the other one you might see, though, is Wandering Merchant. And there are these Wandering Merchant events that happen multiple times a day in multiple locations in the world. Where there will be a merchant that you can buy random unique items from. And they will have cards. And you need to go to those merchants every, like, you know, every multiple times a day and buy those cards for silver. And I will make a guide about Wandering Merchants at a later date. So make sure to subscribe for the Wandering Merchant guide because that's just a whole nother can of worms because everything in this game is just insane and has absurd amounts of content to it. So I'm going to try to just stick to the cards part of this. I've gone to a Wandering Merchant before and have bought a card. Can confirm that is how that works. So I can at least confirm that, but I will go into Wandering Merchants in another video. So yeah, that is how you're going to get all these cards. Your best bet would be to do one that has, is from dungeons and just farm them and then just break those down for card XP. That's probably going to be the most practical way to just get mass amounts of card XP. Um, and then, yeah, achievements, one-time things from that. Uh, so that is generally how to get cards. It's not... I mean, it is the Korean MMO grind as we all are familiar with. But if you really can't wait to get cards and you want them as soon as possible for some reason and you just want to get it over with ASAP, uh, I might be wrong on this, but my understanding of this is you know how when you were leveling... You got all those cards leveling, you might have noticed. And you either used them or did whatever with them. So in theory, you should be able to make a new character, level it up to level 50 to get those free cards, or go further beyond that for more free cards from random quests. Uh, go around and get like a, like map out all the easy cards to get. Maybe I'll make a video on that actually. Uh, subscribe for that. Might, maybe I'll do that someday. Uh, and then once you get all those cards, since they're roster based, you will use all those cards, and then afterwards, you will delete that character, and then go make another new character. And you could repeat this process to get card packs indefinitely, in theory. I haven't tested it. Maybe, maybe there's some reason you wouldn't be able to do it, but in theory, I would imagine it would work. Now, is it time effective? Probably not, maybe, sort of. Only if you really are a completionist and want the cards. But if you get really fast at grinding, apparently you can hit max level in under 10 hours. I mean, level 50, not max, level 50 in 10 hours. So you could get like 20 random cards or more every 20 hours or every 10 hours. I think it was more than 20. I think it was 30 cards in, in 10 hours. So 30 cards every 10 hours. That's an option. Or you just play the game normally and hope that you get them eventually from all the mechanisms in the game. The choice is really yours. But that's generally cards. That's how cards are going to work in this game. Cards are a nice thing to have, and uh, you should definitely be grinding them. That's not all, however. There's one more way that I forgot to mention is with money again. Uh, Mary's Secret Shop. I don't know if it's called Mary or Myri or however. Uh, it rotates every day, and there are random things to buy. So go to the Wartorn Trade Skill Wreck or whatever. Today, 
I could buy any card pack times five for 203 gems. Yesterday, I could buy legendary rare card pack times one, which honestly would have been a decent deal if I was going to be spending actual money. So that's another way for you to get card packs in this game. Uh, now, I may be forgetting something or not remembering something, but that's everything that I could think of of how to get cards and how to use them and how they work. Uh, hopefully, I'm not forgetting something totally critical. I think that's pretty much the bulk of it. I might be missing little, you know, tiny little details or something, but that's the gist of cards. That's everything you generally need to know about cards, what your long-term outlook's going to look like, what you got to do to get them, what value they bring for you, uh, and it's really a completionist thing, too. I mean, the stats are nice, but also on the other perspective, it's a completionist game, and it is another part of being a completionist. So hopefully I helped you out. Now you know how cards work, uh, just in general, how everything works with cards and the card system in Lost Ark.